Perfect. Welcome to our socials training um, on this Tuesday morning. Thanks so much to everyone that has joined. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you all know our selling points by now, but I'm going to run through it again. So why you should book with World Leisure Holidays? With our Sun Resorts, we offer best rate guaranteed. If you or your client can find it cheaper anywhere else, please bring us the quote so we can match it and we'll give your clients a value add. Okay, another great selling point, especially during this time when money is tight for everyone, is if you book a Sun or Veranda package with World Leisure, we lock the rate of exchange once your deposit is paid. Okay, then our Corals Incentive uh, for our agents that we run annually. I'll touch on that in the next slide. We have our online booking system where you can quote and book with the support of the World Leisure team. This is also live availability, so perfect for after hours or weekends. And then we are affiliated with Discovery, so um, your Discovery clients can uh, book the Sun Resorts through you with World Leisure Holidays and you still get your 10% commission on the booking. Okay, then our agents incentive, um, our corals incentive, we run it annually, usually for 12 months. But because of this year um, and COVID and everything that happened, we extended the um, earning time. So you basically now have 24 months to earn your corals and you still only need to earn 10 of them. And then you can start cashing them in on holidays for yourself. Okay, and then we also offer the following. We have a groups and mice department. So if you do have um, 16 or more adults wanting to travel together, please email our groups department. Um, for weddings and honeymoon packages, please um, give us a call. We're very big on our honeymoons and then also weddings. If you have clients that want to get married um, at any of our beautiful resorts, please just email the weddings department. We also do custom-made adventure and wellness packages. And then um, at World Leisure Holidays, in, uh, golf is also really important to us. So we do offer golf packages as well. So please give us a call if you get those requests. And then, of course, um, brand new that we started about two months ago is our very own YouTube channel exclusively for our agents. And this is our World Leisure Holidays uh, Travel Trade training page. So please go subscribe to this and we'll find all our training videos on all our resorts. Um, and that, this will help you a lot in the future. Um, if you want to self-study, this will help you. And also down the line, if you get inquiries for certain resorts and you're not familiar with the resorts, um, quickly go watch the video and then give your clients a call back. Okay, and then of course with the Seychelles, the PCR testing, how it does work, I'm just going to quickly touch on that. So if you're traveling from a low risk country, you only need your negative uh, COVID PCR test within 72 hours from the date of travel. If you're coming from a medium risk country, it's the same, you only need your negative test. And then high risk countries uh, will not be allowed um, entry into Seychelles. So that's just a, a quick touch on that for your clients. And then no quarantine for incoming visitors and face masks should be worn all, um, all the time. Okay, and then if we talk about Seychelles, the airline that will get us there is Air Seychelles. So um, we have resumed our flight. So there, it's a five hour flight between Joburg and Seychelles. And then there's two flights during the daytime. And then for December onwards, there will be three scheduled flights, uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And the Fridays and the Saturdays will be at night. This is for optimal ske um, schedule for the inter-island connection. So that will be much easier if you take a nighttime flight to catch your next um, interconnecting flight between the islands when you get to Mai. The flight from Mai to Kralan is only 15 minutes, so that is really quick. I also included a little map so you can see exactly how the um, domestic network of East Seychelles work. And then Pralan to Ladik, we only do ferry flights, uh, a ferry boat, sorry, no flights. Okay, so that's just a quick touch on that. And then about the Seychelles, just a few um, good to know info. So the capital is Victoria. It's the smallest capital in the world. The language uh, that they speak there is Creole, English and French. They are the official languages of the Seychelles. The currency is the Seychelles rupee and the GMT is the same as Mauritius, which is plus a uh, GMT plus four. Best time to visit is year round average of 29 degrees Celsius and sea temperature averaging at 27 degrees Celsius. The weather on the Seychelles really gets hotter than the low 30s and a cooling sea breeze means the weather offers beautiful beach day potential all year long. The lush greens of the island is thanks to the, to the rain, which is enjoyed throughout the year. The main island is Mahe and Bovalon Bay Beach in Mahe is the only place where you can do water sports if your clients uh, want to do that. 
Fraulein is the second largest island and home to the famous Anzalazio Beach, um, also one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Fraulein is also where you will find the Valle de Mer, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site where you will find the famous Coco de Mer. And then the weather, November to March is rainy season and the sea does get a, a little bit rough. So uh, the most is in Northern Ma Maya where it's the most affected. So try to avoid that area. Then May to September is the best time to go. It's not too hot and there's no rain. And then October to December is also a great time to go if you love the, the, the hot weather because it's very hot October to December and sunny and blue skies. And then, like I mentioned, Ladik is mainly for your day trips. Um, so you can um, do a day trip there, but there's no cars allowed. It's only on foot or bicycles, okay? And then the Seychelles consists of 41 gran granitic inner islands that lie four degrees south of the equator, including Maya, Pralin, and Ladik, the largest as well as the most visited and populated islands out of the 41. The, these granite uh, islands are unique as the only and the oldest mid-ocean granite islands on the planet. These islands include the UNESCO protected Valle de Mer on Pralin, which I mentioned. Okay. Then of course you don't go to Seychelles if you don't want to go to see the stunning beaches. So just to touch on the top five Seychelles beaches, Anzalazia that we all know uh, very well on Pralin, arguably the most beautiful beach in the world. It's also one of the most photographed beaches in the world. Um, Anza Georgette, which is in Pralin. It's not the easiest to, uh, to find or to get to, but it's definitely worth the effort if you're looking for a spectacular experience. Um, and then the most impressive part of Anza Georgette is that the ocean colors right um, at that beach is so beautiful, vibrant colors because the lack of rocks and coral, uh, coral under the water um, creates these beautiful uh, colors. And then this beach also does have a limit of number of visitors al allowed daily. So um, the benefit you get out of that is, of course, it's unspoiled and never crowded. Then uh, Côte d'Or, which means Gold Coast, if you translate it, um, in, in Pralin is one of the longest beaches in the archipelago. Over two kilometers of white sand, dramatic granite formations at the end of the beach, and then ponds all the way. So that's also a stunning, stunning beach. On, uh, on the source d'Argent, which is in uh, Ladik, you take a 15 minute ferry across or a boat taxi to the beach to Ladik. It's best to enjoy in the low tide. Um, so in the shallow waters, you can actually spot a lot of different uh, fish and marine life, which is beautiful. Giant boulders, white sands and arched palms. And then this under Sauf d'Argent, also visitors need to pay entrance uh, to get to the beach because you have to go through a state that leads to the beach, okay. And then Anza Intendance in Maya is one kilometer with the possibility to see turtles hatching between October and February. So it's absolutely beautiful, uh, wild and mostly untouched. So I included a few pictures so you can see the, beach, the beaches are absolutely stunning wherever you go in the Seychelles. Okay, then we get to our hotel of today. So today we are discussing an Eden Bloom Hotel on Eden Island in the Seychelles. It's uh, located on Eden Island and it's off the coast of Maya, only 10 minutes from the international airport and five minutes from the capital. I included a map so you can see exactly where it is located on a little piece of island, which they call Eden Island right next to um, Mahe. And then direct access to Eden Island International Marina. This hotel provides world-class accommodation together with state-of-the-art conferencing and business facilities. So this resort is really perfect for groups and mice, and it's definitely where luxury meets modern. So I included a picture so you can see it's located in the marina and not on the beach. So this is one of the only resorts that don't have access to a beach. It's the ideal place for guests to enjoy a vibrant atmosphere with walking distance to the Eden Plaza, where they have um, nightlife and restaurants and a lot of things to do. So it's very different, but really stunning and unique in its own way. I included a picture like this as well, so you can see this is Eden Island and then the resort is right here on, in the marina. Okay, then we move on to the rooms and the accommodation. So first of all, very unique to this resort because it's a business type feel. We offer a 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. room type, which is basically if you're only going for a meeting or for one night or you're only going for um, a short business trip, you can book a room for a night only and this will be bed and breakfast. Um, so if you only get in late at night and you have your meeting the next day, you can take the 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. room. And then this is only for two adults max. Then our deluxe garden view room 
takes two adults and one child under 13. The whole resort does offer bed and breakfast only because you're on Eden Island and you can go to the other restaurants and um, we offer bed and breakfast only. Then the standard room, also two adults, bed and breakfast, deluxe marina view room, um, two adults and one child under 13, also offer bed and breakfast. And then the luxury marina view, also bed and breakfast, but you can take three adults um, and two kids under 13. And the children will be accommodated in fold away beds. And then the resort also offers one presidential suite, which can take max three adults and three kids under 13. And then I included the amenities, which we all know basically comes in all rooms um, at the resort, but a few things that's different um, in this modern business resort. So you have your 42 inch um, LED screen with your satellite TV that also does have HDMI and USB connection. Then you have wireless Apple TV connection uh, for TV and for streaming of video, music and content. You have a workstation with international plugs, sockets and USB charger ports. Of course, you have your spacious bathroom and separate shower. You have your Nespresso coffee machine, tea making facilities, a fridge, aircon and ceiling fan, in-room safe, hair dryer, 24 hour room service, intercom system for communication with the hotel staff so you can uh, talk to them directly bathrobe and slippers, of course your scale, which we don't need, <laughs> balcony, marina view, um, iron and ironing board, a wake up call, and your bottle of water and your mini bar. Because it's a bed and breakfast resort, the mini bar is not included. And then we move on to the dining options. So first of all, if you don't wanna dine at the resort, you are a short stroll away from Eden Island, uh, which offers restaurants and bars outside the resort if you want to do that, but they do have restaurants and bars inside the resort as well. So first of all, it's the Marlin Bleu restaurants. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, as well as room service, and it offers buffet and a la carte. It's located by the poolside terrace. A wide selection of meat, poultry, seafood and vegetarian dishes are on offer, catering to a multitude of tastes and uh, preferences whilst maintaining an air of gourmet sophistication. Then Bourgeois Bar and Restaurant, it's open early till late for drinks and light snacks served all day. It does have a relaxed ambiance. Our all day dining menu is available in the Bourgeois Bar adjoining the Marlon Bleu Restaurant, so right next door. It offers a selection of light meals and snacks inspired by local Seychelles flavors. And then dishes include like your light snacks like focaccia, sandwiches, salads and pastas. And then take your pick from a wide selection of mouth-watering cocktails, international wines, and uh, both local and international beer, spirits, and sodas. Okay, then the um, Emperor Terrace um, runs the length of the front of the Eden Bleu. So you'll see it um, if you see a picture from the front of the hotel and provides uninterrupted views of the marina and the soaring mountains in Mahe. And then you can choose to relax on the sun deck or under the gazebos, sipping on your cocktails. Um, alternatively, you can take a dip in the jacuzzi or the infinity pool, or you can watch your small kitties play around in the splash pool. So this is open from early till late, and it's extending outside from the Bourgeois Bar and Marlon Bleu restaurant. Um, all day dining menu and selection of cocktails can be enjoyed on the Emperor Terrace offering exquisite views over the marina. And then a poolside guest can dine in the shade that runs the length of the hotel with gorgeous views, like I mentioned, overlooking the beautiful mountains. And then of course, because it's a business hotel, the conference and meeting facilities are some of the best in the Seychelles. So Eden Blue Hotel combines an idyllic setting with the most advanced Seychelles conferencing and meeting facilities in the Indian Ocean. So all the meeting rooms offer natural light with op uh, doors opening onto covered terraces, perfect for your team coffee breaks, as well as your light meals. The main ballroom can host about 340 guests seated, um, theater style, and up to 250 guests can be accommod accommodated banquet style. And then the ballroom can also be subdivided into two separate rooms if you need two separate um, meeting or conference rooms. So really, really state-of-the-art equipment based in the Indian Ocean. And I included some pictures of the resort so you can see the look and feel, very modern decor, spacious, elegant design, really, really stunning. And this is a picture from the marina side. So you're right there on the marina, really beautiful. And then a picture um, at a nighttime view, also really stunning. 
And then excursions and activities. Uh, Maya offers an array of activities and excursions and things to do from island sites um, and sounds, snorkeling, some of the best beaches, like I mentioned, golf nearby, fishing and boat charters, island hopping, uh, definitely must if in Seychelles do island hopping and go see the, the main three islands and then surfing and many more. And I'm going to end off with a video. Um, it is a bit longer than the usual videos, but it's really, really uh, nice to see exactly what makes this resort different. And that's it. So even though it's not your typical resort because it doesn't have a beach, it is still beautiful and it has a lot of other selling points. Um, like you're right there on the marinas, um, beautiful views of the mountains and Eden Plaza right next door to go to your shopping. So really, really stunning uh, resorts. Were there any questions? No, we didn't have any questions, Misha, but that was cool. That was nice. That video also showed yes, quite very nicely. Very different. I, I really like this. Yeah. Something different. Yeah, myself okay. as well. And I guess a, a great one for your people going to Prahl and on the day that they don't connect. That, yeah, perfect for one night. That's why they yeah. also have that offer of you can only book a room for uh, four nights. That's also yeah, great. That's nice. But thanks, everyone.